So Duplicate Sweeper has found some duplicate files on your computer and is displaying the results. Let's see how you can select which duplicate files to remove. On the left hand side is a summary of the types of duplicate files found. Here, 3 megabytes of duplicates have been found. By clicking on pictures, you can view duplicate photos and other images. Click on documents to view duplicate document files and so on. Duplicate Sweeper has found three groups of duplicate pictures. Each group contains two files that are the same. The file list on the right shows all the files that are part of the selected group. These files should all contain the same content. They're duplicates. Select which of the duplicates to remove by checking the box. You'll notice that a red number appears next to the corresponding duplicate group. This shows how many files in that group have been marked for removal. The number to the right of it shows how many files are in that duplicate group. In our case, one picture has been marked for removal in a group of two duplicates. You can go down the list of duplicates and manually select which files to keep. Alternatively, you can let Duplicate Sweeper do this automatically for you. Right click on a group of duplicates and select Keep Newest File in Group. Every file except the newest is marked for removal. Similarly, you can automatically apply a rule to files of a specific type. Right click on a file type and select Keep Newest Files in Category. All except newest files of that type are marked for removal. In our case, only the newest photos are selected to be kept. When you're ready for the next step, click Recycle Selected Duplicates. Don't worry, you'll get a chance to review all the files you've chosen to remove before they're actually removed.